Certo, sì, sì. Howdy. Aspetta che è arrivato il cowboy qua. Ti richiamo. Ciao. You got any pepper balls? Eh, pepper ball? You know, pepper balls. Ah, pepper ball. No, that ain't pepper balls. Ah, yes, of course, pepper ball. No, those are meatballs. Oh, pepper ball, abracadabra. Yes, yes, pepper ball. Yes, pepper balls. Good day folks, welcome back to my channel and as always, thank you so much for watching. So for today, I really didn't have anything groundbreaking to present to you guys. Uh, I'm still waiting for some made in Italy, really cool slugs, uh, as well as some 68 caliber steel balls. Anyway, none of that is here yet. So in the meantime, what I did is I went through my ammo drawer and uh, decided to try out some of these uh, 68 caliber pepper balls. Uh, by shooting them with the HDR 68. We have two versions. We have a, a ball version of these pepper balls and also a D-shaped or first strike uh, version as well. And I'll be using two HDR 68s today, the factory 7.5 joules version uh, and the 30 joules tuned up by Troy's Toys uh, version, which is a cannon. Now this time I will not, I will try not to end up like I did last time when I reviewed these. Uh, that was utterly painful, uh, but at least we did verify their high power and effectiveness. Cannot open my eyes. Now, as many of you know, I made several reviews on uh, Draw Dropper products. Uh, I'm, I'm personally a huge fan of this American company. I find their slugs to be very well made and effective. Um, but I do feel it's my responsibility to say that I haven't heard back from them in a while. Uh, one of my viewers even said that they bought some bullets on eBay from them, uh, but they got it immediately, uh, they were sent a reimbursement. So in case your order doesn't go through, uh, that's probably why, but uh, you do get a reimbursement. Um, this, however, may also not be the case or no longer be the case uh, by the time you watch this video. So if you are interested in these slugs, please do try and uh, purchase them. And by the way, guys, always do check the description down here as that's where I always put related updates, corrections, uh, specific information that sometimes remain unsaid in the video or that I forgot to say or that comes up afterwards. So again, down in the description, you often find answers uh, to the questions that you may have. Anyway, once again, today's purpose is to shoot the 68 caliber pepper balls from our HDR 68s, the seven and a half joules and the 30 joules version. I'm also curious to see if from the 30 joules, uh, if these pepper balls will actually you know, shoot out and not disintegrate inside the barrel or right outside of it. So I'm really curious to see that as well. And to not end up like last time, I'm wearing a little extra protection today. All right, let's start loading them up. We're gonna load the uh, D-shaped first. I'll use uh, four per gun. And uh, it's important to notice how clean they are. Really, there's no residue power coming out. Um, as you see, I'm not using uh, gloves. So yeah, pretty cool. Anyways, let's load them up. All right, so while I load these, let me tell you about my week. I've been following some snake hunters through the Everglades uh, almost every night this week till about two or three in the morning. As some of you know, I'm a news cameraman, and these days we're covering the Florida Python Contest, um, which is a state-funded two-week-long hunt aimed at removing as many invasive Burmese pythons uh, from the Everglades. The Burmese python, which is a huge, huge snake, uh, has lived in Florida now for over 40 years. Uh, it flourished in the swampy Everglades, and not having any natural predators, uh, it devours pretty much every animal out there, and it kills up to 90% of the wildlife that it, finds, that it finds in its surroundings. Anyway, I thought I'd tell you about my week, uh, given that my job has taken me and keeps taking me to absolutely crazy places. Um, you know, if you're happy, I'd love to keep sharing 
the craziest experience uh, from now on. Again, if you're happy to hear them. But anyway, we are now completely loaded up. Uh, we are also gassed up. We have these 12 gram Crossman uh, CO2 cartridges inside. The gun is not ready yet to shoot. Uh, that happens only after we pierce the uh, piercing valve here, which we're gonna do right away. All right, we're ready to shoot. Today guys, we have some bonus slugs, um, which unfortunately have a bit of a sad story. Uh, these were sent to me uh, from Germany to test out um, by a company called Morris Warren Held. Um, they are the ones who make uh, the buckshots, which I reviewed in this video, the 50 caliber uh, buckshots. Really, really cool uh, slugs. Uh, the maker sent me the 68 caliber version. I was super excited to review them, however, uh, apparently they got stuck in the German customs um, and what did they do there they opened them up every single one of them opened up these buck buckshots and then repackaged it as is as just like this and sent them to me so um, I got I received them months later unfortunately all opened up I was able to save about six of them um, what these are, again, they're, they're buckshots. They contain about 16 or 14 or 15, uh, four and a half millimeter uh, BBs uh, in this plastic 3D printed casing. Uh, so what they do is uh, the BBs uh, leave the barrel, uh, or, or I'm sorry, they leave the casing once the, the projectile leaves the barrel. So they're like miniature shotguns, if you will. And with these, he also sent me these cool looking uh, plastic metal uh, slugs as well, which we're gonna test. And as always, we have our, our my, my preferred targets right here. And we'll be shooting them again with, uh, with the, actually I'll be shooting these with the 30 joules version of my HDR 68. Another cool tool he sent me is this, actually he sent me two of them, um, which help out in the unscrewing and screwing of the piercing valve. Let's get shooting. All right, so with the BBs, there was not too much penetration, I don't think. All right guys, so the BBs made very, very minor damage here. What this is, this is a 68 caliber Devastator, which I found on the floor and I shot it with the other two shots. So I didn't announce it, but um, we look at what the Devastator did. It nearly came out of the other side. 
Look at that. Uh, hard to get. But uh, yeah, that was pretty awesome. On behalf of the Devastator. Let's see the melon instead. Seems like the BBs did spray pretty well on this melon. Far did they go? Okay, we see some babies here. So a couple inches in. It seems like more babies went in or deeper. Okay, we have a bunch of them right here, laying right in the middle. Okay, so BBs and seeds. Let's see how far back they went. Well, this looks like the BB that went the furthest. So, crossed the whole melon and ended up right about almost on the other side all right folks i need uh, more of those to do better testing i'm not so satisfied uh, with the testing of those hard shots i only had a few um, so i hope uh, this, the maker will send me more uh, to do a more of a proper review uh, anyways uh, same maker as uh, we said earlier uh, i'm gonna shoot these plastic 3d printed metal slugs they fit really really well into the uh hdr 68 drum cylinder again they fit really really tight not too tight just perfectly for this i have two coconuts which we're gonna set right here so once again we'll be shooting the hdr 68 30 joules version i'm gonna shoot 10 shots So yeah, there's something about exploding coconuts that just turns me on. And so I ended up shooting three magazines, AKA 15 shots. And the coconuts have, as always have been obliterated. These are very angry little things. 68 caliber German made plastic slugs with a BB. All right, folks. Seems that we are finally done for today as well. As always, this is what the alley looks like after a video. And this is what I look like. It is about 30 degrees Celsius, 90 something Fahrenheit. It's pretty hot indeed, but uh, I'm glad that we got through this. And I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking that like button uh, if you did indeed like the video and for subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you again next week.